We've had this DR field and brush mower up at the cabin for over 20 years now, and it's been a good workhorse for clearing out underbrush. Of course, after two decades, it's picked up its share of dents and scratches, and some of the creases in the metal brush deck have cracked apart. Since I recently picked up a little flux core welder, it's an easy enough process to reinforce these cracks in the metal and get things back in ship shape. We have a lot of poison ivy around here, so the first task is scraping off all the vegetable matter from the deck to reduce the risk of getting poison ivy. I won't scrape it squeaky clean, as that's a better job for a pressure washer whenever we get around to it. Some kind of clockwise. Uh -huh. The housing around the blade shaft has gotten dented in over time, so we first bend it back into place. I start at the first crack in the deck by wire reeling down to bare metal. Since I'm assuming this entire deck is covered in poison ivy oil, I'm wearing gloves and a face mask to avoid breathing any of it in. To reinforce this corner on the outside of the deck, I'm welding in a piece of bolt to provide some added strength. Before you blow me up in the comment section, yes, I'm aware that you shouldn't weld galvanized metal. However, I'm doing this in a well-ventilated area and keeping my face far away from the fumes. If this isn't something you're comfortable doing, then don't. It's easy enough to grind off the zinc coating before welding if you're worried about it. Now to weld the crack on the inside of the brush deck. The next crack is on the other side of the brush deck, and I repeat the process again to clean it down to bare metal. Thank <laughs> you. 
To keep it from rusting, I'm spraying the welded areas with a self-etching primer. I'll follow this up later with a color match paint once I can find one. While we had the blade off, I gave it a quick sharpen with the flap wheel. For not having it sharpened in, well, ever, the blade was in surprisingly good shape. Reassembly consists of reattaching the brush deck to the motor and wrapping the belt back around the drive pulley. Replacing the belt guard completes the job and it's ready for use again. Thanks for following along with this one. I hope it was informative and helpful. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.